friends in upsc mains 2022 essay paper the third essay the third essay is history is a series of victories won by the scientific men over the romantic men here scientific men scientific man means someone who thinks rationally logically who has scientific temper who can put his rational thinking over the emotions who can question the facts before accepting them such a man is called a scientific man even in article 51a the fundamental duty in the constitution of india one of the fundamental duties is to have scientific temper so now scientific men always wins over romantic men romantic men means someone who gives more importance to prejudices belief system who blindly goes by the faith or who just follows what is there in the scriptures or what is said by the ancestors whose emotions are stronger than thinking such a man is called romantic man so who does not question the faith so generally if you observe the history various events situations countries people if you observe in most of the cases scientific men has won over the romantic men so this is the topic given in the essay friends i want to tell you something i observed that some of the students who are writing these essays philosophical essays which are coming in the last 3 to 4 years in the upsc as they do not know the structure of the essay approach of the essay they are mostly writing all paragraphs only filled with examples some gandhi example buddha example means they just write the examples justifying the statement and they feel the topic is over that's not correct in essay of course you have to explain the meaning of the essay of course you have to give different examples to substantiate the topic but you should spend some time some paragraphs in writing your opinion suggestion and whether is it really true does really scientific men win over romantic men or are there cases where romantic men also won over scientific men we have to look at the topic critically also so i would like to tell you the structure i would prefer for this essay the structure i would prefer is of course you have to always make the introduction very interesting for the evaluator so introduction you can write a story that is self explanatory a story that actually emphasizes the essay topic and gives a clarity to the evaluator that you understood the topic and then in the next paragraph you can write the meaning of the sentence given in the essay you can if in fact define the key words in the essay and explain your interpretation of the topic given in the essay then as usually everybody does this they write so so many examples you know just fill up exam with examples so yeah you should write some examples to justify the statement however you have to write your opinion of why a scientific man wins over romantic man why what do you think are the various reasons a scientific man is always won over the or mostly won over the romantic man also i would always give importance to suggestions suggest how to improve this scientific temper in the present generation what methods we have to follow so that we all become scientific men and the romantic men are reduced in number compared to scientific men and also friends why romantic man is also important sometimes though the essay topic says that scientific men or no romantic men you should also spend one or two paragraphs explaining why romantic man is also important sometimes how sometimes romanticism also wins and finally you have to balance the romantic men and scientific men but of course scientific men has to be emphasized it has to be given importance but you have to try to balance it now friends let us start initial as said the story the story i would prefer you can write the story of gandhi also in the independence movement how he followed scientific approach but i prefer the story of you know uh, in for example till 18 till 1829 in india after that also in india sati was a common practice and the indian population who were most religious who glorified the practice of sati romanticized the sati child marriage romanticized and even widows were not allowed to remarry so they felt that as per the scriptures particularly manu scripture whatever as per scriptures they felt that women are always women women i'm sorry women are always subordinate to men so women have to sacrifice their life 
if the husband dies a woman is not allowed to remarry should not go out should not get education so in that aspect these concepts are actually glorified romanticized widely accepted though it was a prejudice though it was a blind belief without any rational thinking it was romanticized accepted and then came social reforms reformers like raja ramohan roy friends raja ramohan roy fought he wrote he campaigned again as practice sati finally it was accepted by the british the william bentinck accepted it and 1829 around 1829 sati was abolished similarly later on there was a widow remar remarriage act and similarly in 1920s and 29 precisely child marriage was prohibited gradually what happened is the scientific men won over the romantic men today if you observe child marriage almost reduced almost reduced sati was zero and widow remarriage happening everywhere so what we observed over a period of time scientific men won over the romantic men over a period of time this incident in history can be explained to you know uh, substantiate the topic given so in this while you are writing this story writing what happened history showing in history you have to mention that the, those men were romantic men who believed in these concepts and people like raja ramon roy ishwar chandra vidyasagar and other social religious reformers they were scientific men who analyzed these uh, social evils uh, social problems scientifically analyzed them and with a rational approach they were able to stop those ill practices now friends after starting with the the story you have to come and explain the meaning of the uh, essay for example what do you mean by this topic you had explain what do you mean by scientific man a rational thinker logical thinker who gives more importance to rationality than the emotion and you had explain who is a romantic man according to you and then tell that the topic actually says that scientific man generally over the romantic man so like that you explain the meaning of the essay then friends it's always good to explain the topic using different examples different stories from different periods of history different places in the world different situations multi dimensional essay will come out only if you can give examples from different sectors for example one sector can be economy for example here economy i wrote then you know this is also economy society then you know the present government reforms you know again uh, cities villages and uh, the ancient the ancient history and the medieval history modern history means from different sectors different times you have to give examples for example see socrates copernicus galileo plato these were the earliest scientific men that we know of for example galileo has pr proposed heliocentric theory which was not accepted by the church hence he was punished similar socrates went against the belief system of the greeks in those days of multiple gods he did not accept of the multiple gods hence he was asked to drink poison or leave the athens and he accepted to drink poison rather than leaving athens so however in those days though they were punished today they their ideas were accepted so it took some time but finally the scientific men like socrates copernicus galileo they won over the romantic men who believed in religion in those days blind faith accepting the uh, tradition without questioning the rationality of that superstitious men are called romantic men so they were defeated over a period of time by these scientific men initially though they lost their ideas prevailed their thoughts continued widely accepted among the people and now they have won their thoughts have won so thus i just say they say even for example the ancient history in the ancient history as you see throughout the world most of the people the treatment that they followed were very traditional treatment without any rationality scientific temper and in those days the famous thinkers biologists medical practitioners like charaka sushruta you know even in the mathematics mathematics and in the solar system theory of solar system stars aryabhata they thought scientifically rationally and they were the torch bearers of this rational thinking scientific men gradually their ideas have won even for example ashoka in those days violence through war is the only method of winning a land in fact kings used to romanticize that violence lot of violence is able to win the war kill several soldiers romanticize glorified but ashoka 
thought scientifically that a king can win over the hearts of people a king a king can gain the wide acceptance only if he does good governance by following the peace and non violence and thus he has followed scientific approach and is able to establish kingdom similar akbar also the mughal kings generally used to glorify islam give more importance to you know uh, islam religion than other religions but akbar realized that to become a stronger king with wider acceptance he has to have the tolerance across different religions in fact he has established even din ilahi religion of the god and thus akbar became you know famous king with a wider land i mean he is able to occupy more lands he is able to get more acceptance of public so that is also a scientific approach that he has followed even for example bhakti movement you know in those days brahmanism prevailed where only certain castes are allowed to access the vedas access the knowledge or go into the temple and this was not this was questioned by the bhakti saints bhakti saints like kabir have questioned it they said that all men are born equal so they have given equal rights by the god and how can you divide the people based on a caste or creed and today you know this thing is widely accepted today though there is some superstition today this thought has prevailed so scientific men again won over the romantic men who were more religious having prejudices blind faith but even second world war if you observe germany italy the central powers central powers axis powers and allied powers usa led by usa so usa has followed the scientific methodology of running their economy running their country whereas germany followed hollow nationalism you know even the uh, italy followed fascism so these were romantic ideas they are romantic men irrational men and they lost the war second world war you know with the uh, allied powers like that again scientific men won over the romantic men and friends see if you if you uh, c- compare city and village the growth of city is faster it always wins over the village why because in village most romantic men who do not follow scientific approach who generally continue traditions of the old generations of course traditions are good but however they have to be questioned only some of them have to be followed romantic shall be discarded whereas in cities mostly they go practically the practical approach scientific approach that's why cities are growing fast in villages and comparing with the tribal areas they were not at all growing of course tribal culture is very good in some aspects however as an economy they are unable to grow because they are not they are mostly romantic men than scientific men similarly friends even today government of india is romanticizing subsidies because through subsidies governments wants to show that it is pro poor it is helping the poor but in true in in reality subsidies are only temporary relief for the growth some relief for the poor temporary relief for the alleviation of poverty permanent relief is capacity building skill building infrastructure you know so that you can provide livelihood to them permanently they can stand on their own legs so that is a scientific scientific men this is romantic men romantic idea so slowly romantic idea has to be overpowered by the scientific approach and subsidies are very less in developed countries like usa now again friends in the uh, in the ancient history medieval history time around 14 uh, around the 15th century early 15th century renaissance where racial thinking started scientific temper started countries like portugal spain are able to go out navigation and able to colonize other countries colonize in the sense in terms of trade because of which those countries developed economically but of course in nations also portugal's development stopped after 1540 because church took over whereas uk is able to develop very fast because uk the scientific temper is given more importance by government than the religion whereas portugal after 1540 for 1498 to 1540 is a golden period of portugal but after that slowly religion took over that's why portugal lost the war with uk industrial revolution those countries which emphasize industrial revolution based on scientific temp scientific approachational thinking those countries are able to develop very fast like usa uk and west european countries they are able to win over the romantic countries which at that time were still believing in traditions beliefs uh, manual labor rather than machines equipment and science science whereas even india india till 1991 till 1980 more or less followed the socialism which was a romantic idea of uh, ussr india followed the same five year plan those models because of which the growth rate was not very high but after the lpg reforms india has taken the risk 
followed a scientific approach globalization privatization liberalization scientifically proved methods of economic development because of that the growth rate has really picked up even for example gandhi during independence movement if you look at the moderates or extremists extremists have glorified the violence revolution is particularly glorified the violence they felt sacrifice of life is the best way to win the independence they have glorified the sacrifice whereas the moderates have said that being obedient to british by petitions repeated requests will change their mind and they will accept the demands however both of them are irrational frankly both of them are romanticized gandhi gandhi is able to find a scientific approach the the scientific methodology which developed in south africa he applied in south africa found the methodology victorious south africa he applied in india satyagraha non violence because of that india is able to get independence gandhi's approach similar friends economics also though adam smith is a very good economist some of his ideas were outdated giving importance only to the capitalism without interference of the government is highly romanticized by the west however after the great depression they found that his ideas are not completely accepted and then came john maynard keynes who have told about aggregate demand and who said that government's involvement is required in in times of crisis so his scientific approach won over the romantic romantic approach of the free previous economists like the friends for example again racism racism you can tell how martin luther king analyzed scientifically how why racism is a bad idea why it is an invalid idea even nelson mandela how he with the scientific scientific temper scientific approach is able to win over racism even casteism ambedkar's approach how he said casteism is not the right idea even buddhism also buddhism also did not accept the varna system so you can tell all these things but in every story you write every para you write you have to tell how scientific men won over the rational i mean uh, uh, romantic men friends then now after writing the example stories whatever you have to explain your idea of why scientific men win so romantic men for example you can write four five points you can say something like uh, a rational man is result oriented is practical because of which all his energy will be focused towards result whereas a, a romantic man will have blind belief system his idea is not to get result but to somehow follow the prejudices follow the beliefs rather than rather than uh, you know achieving the task that's why most of the cases scientific men win over romantic men for example take an animal and a man a man thinks rationally an animal thinks emotionally and that's why man always wins over the animal you can even tell about you know um why emotions should not given why emotions should not play a very important role in taking decision when compared to rationality so there are the various reasons why scientific men generally wins over the romantic men even that's why in india as i told you already in the constitution of india also article 51 a fundamental duty asks every citizen of india to have scientific temper question every fact question anything before accepting it even swami vivekananda said that in religion also you no need to accept blindly question it validate it authenticate it then accept it for now see as we understood the scientific man is very important for development of a nation society how do we create scientific men in a country like india for example our curriculum should encourage scientific temper the media should not encourage superstitions it has to discourage the superstitions the media and even the peer group social group the parents teachers they should not encourage any blind faith among the students they have to make the students question anything before they accept it so overall you can write your own ideas of how scientific temper can be improved these days in the information communication technology there is a wide spread of ideas very easy for us to access the reason for anything and understand the science behind anything friends also sometimes see in even any essay though you write 80% of essay in the way the question is asked at least 10% 10 to 15% you have to criticize the essay also for example ethics morals ethics morals you know uh, for example compassion honesty these things cannot be explained rationally or scientifically they are in a in a way romantic however in such aspects i think patriotism being honest for example romanticizing the 
story of Satyarish Chandra is important. Romanticizing the patriotism of Subhash Chandra Bose is important. You have to romanticize certain qualities, certain ethics, certain morals, certain principles. They are very important for development of a nation, in the unit integration of a nation. So, in that aspect, you have to say why romantic man is also important sometimes. So, finally, be a scientific man, a scientific approach, rational thinking, but you have to adhere to certain principles and ethics without questioning them. That makes a country powerful and great and th that makes an economy grow faster. Thank you friends. We will meet in the next essay, the fourth essay separate video.